Alright, welcome back guys. Um, it's been about a week since we've emptied the dental escape boost tank. Uh, a lot has happened in the past 7 days, so it's time to give you guys a bit of an update. Uh, now my goal for this escape is to create two large uh, rock formations and cover them with moss completely. And like, like really cover them. So yeah, I've been playing around with the black lava rocks and I'm quite happy with where we are right now. So I started with the left side of the uh, hardscape and this will be the, the biggest uh, rock formation as well as the tallest. So it took a little bit of time to, to come up with something nice. I was done I glued everything together with uh, super glue and toilet paper this is yeah by far my favorite method of gluing hardscape together it only works when the hardscape is dry but the end result is uh, something really really solid with such a simple thing like like toilet paper and super glue So when the left side was done, I basically did exactly the same thing on the right, just a little bit smaller, a little bit less stones, and I glued everything there as well. So now we have two solid rock formations that are completely glued together, and those two formations will form the base uh, of our hardscape. Now this super glue and toilet paper method works really well, uh, but you do end up with all these white spots of, of toilet paper that you see uh, on your hardscape. Uh, so we need to cover that up and the best way to do this is by using um, uh, aquasol powder. So what I do, I just take a little bit of aquasol, I drop that into my coffee grinder and I just lift that into a powder. You could actually use um, espresso powder for this as well. And once you have that powder, you just drop a little bit more super glue on the spots that you want to cover up. And then you sprinkle some powder on top of the glue and that's it. Then everything is covered up, it blends in really nice and it's completely fish safe. So after I cover, covered up all those white spots, I took a, a soft brush and I brushed off all the excess powder because you don't really want to have this uh, inside your aquarium because once you fill it up with water it just it gets quite messy and your water gets a bit brown and dirty so I just took a vacuum cleaner and I uh, got everything out uh, by the way guys I just finished watching this documentary on Netflix uh, it's called a Life on Our Planet from David Attenberg. If you haven't watched this yet, I really recommend that you do. Uh, it's about our, our planet and how we've kind of been exhausting it, you know. And, but also how with small changes in our lifestyle we can yeah, just make the, make the planet better and improve it for ourselves and, and you know, the, future, uh, the future generation. So I really recommend you guys watch this. Okay, so now it's time for the moss. And as I said earlier, I want to cover these rocks completely with moss. And here's how I'm going to do that. So I had a lot of fistins left over, as well as a few other types of moss, uh, Ricardia and fistins Miroshaki. So I've put all these mosses in a little bit of uh, reverse osmosis water. 
and then I blitzed it up with the stick blender so we get all these really small particles of moss. Uh, to that I've added more of the uh, aqua soap powder to turn it, sort of turn it into a paste or almost like mud. And then I just took the paintbrush again and basically yeah, I just painted all the lava rocks with this uh, moss, moss paste, moss mud. So all of the lava rocks are now covered with this, with all these small particles of, of uh, moss. Now to make sure that this, this is going to grow and it's going to attach to the rocks, I uh, need to do a dry start. So I've covered the aquarium with plastic wrap uh, to keep all the humidity inside. And we need to keep it like this for at least three weeks I would say. Um, giving it a lot of light and spraying it a couple times a day with uh, reverse osmosis water. Uh, this dry start method uh, works really well. It does take a little bit of time, but I think the end result is, is yeah, just really nice and well worth the wait. Um, I've did this a couple times already, um, but I always actually did it with yogurt. So I blitzed up the moss with yogurt. And if you Google um, yogurt moss method, you will actually find a lot of information about this. Um, but I never tried it with the aqua soil. Um, I found it on, on Instagram, some German aquascapers were doing it with soil. Um, so I'm curious to, to try it out like this. I think there's a, there's a benefit of using soil because it has some nutrients which will probably be good for the moss. So yeah, it's going to be a few weeks before we have this cape up and running again. Um, but I think it's going to be well worth the wait. I haven't really decided yet on the, on the rest of the plants. Um, but we have plenty of time to figure that out. So yeah guys, give this moss method a try. Uh, let me know what you think. As always guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Uh, like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.